everybody, welcome back to a surprise extra episode of The Count Lupinor. So, I'm gonna see what other kind of endings I can get and shit like that. Since I got the nice, uh... Save. Assuming it's where I want it to be. Perfect. Okay, I got the worm. And my pal over there is dead. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and <laughs> God immediately cut right off the bat. Sorry, I was ill prepared. I pretty much just got done doing the finale. Or at least the official finale for this. Which means because I am done with said finale. I'm gonna come back and do some of the extra shit. In case you couldn't tell, I'm really fucking tired. But I have to stay up because I have a graveyard shift. That I have to go to in, well, hours from now, but... Not the point. Did I already get the water? I can't remember if I have. Ooh, that's fake. Ow, fucking worms. I don't need any more blood. So that means we go here, we eat the cake. And you know, we get the... We get the worm to eat the cake. Here you go, worm, have some cake. Catch me that butterfly. <laughs> hey, that's funny. The Kretzky didn't spawn this time. Butterfly cut into a jewel, blah blah blah. Really, no Lucrezia. Strange, it's like it new. It's like a new I'd already done it before. And the cobalt's on the other side. What the hell? Or wait, maybe he moved over there before. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, we already know what you have to say, so I'm just gonna skip. And I shall follow the... It's like it decided to make my job of getting endings easier. Yes, yes, you're a liar. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit in the chair. Now, I know he's a fake, so I think getting one of the endings might require exposing that lie and then sitting on the throne. But I'm just gonna sit on the throne for now. Cobalt's trick. When he sat in the throne, Hans became the new Count Lucanor. Every night he threw parties full of sweets and fun. But Hans never found out. It all made part of a curse. And trapped in his fantasies, he ended up forgetting his mother forever. The end. Well, that's a bit of a downer. Well, that seems... Ah, I'm finally free. He almost unmasked me. Oof. 
That was close. Good thing kids are tricked easily. Tis true. Tis true indeed. So I'm gonna take this as a chance to cut back to the throne room. Okay, so here we are back in the throne room. Now this time, things are gonna be a little different. Yes, hello, Mr. Fake Count. Now this time, like in our first playthrough, boom. Deception discovered. And he mentions that he would be willing to make a deal. Yes, yeah, so we could make some sort of deal. Alright, I'm sitting, but first I want to make a deal. The Pact with the Cobalt. When he sat in the throne, Hans began the new Count Lucanor, okay? And so far, nothing's changed. Every night he threw parties of sweets and fun. Hans knew the curse of the castle and knew he wouldn't see his mother ever again. Thus, before he sat in the throne, he made a pact with Petronio. Okay, aside from that, it's pretty much the same. The end. Is that it? Oh, come on. I mean, I know it wasn't a lot of extra work on my end, but still. Would have been nice if it was a little more... Oh, hello. Something new. Who will that be? Or who will be that? Holy shit. Whoa, what's all this? My lady, please excuse my abrupt approach. The name is Petronio, and I happen to bring a gift from the most illustrious Count Lucanor. Count? I've never met any Count. If you allow me, I would like to deliver this missive myself. My dearest mother, I've become the Count Lucanor. I'd like to share with you some of my fortunes so you'll never be hungry again. I'm in a faraway kingdom, so I guess I'm not seeing you again anytime soon. I also send you a kiss, Mom. I'll love you forever, and I'll never forget you. Signed by HF. That is a lot of fucking money. Mm, that's it for that ending. Oh man. This is a little embarrassing, but uh, I was looking through the achievements, and I realized I missed an ending. So, I'm going to do that right now. Now, I think it was... I forget the name of the actual achievement. But it was, um... Riches Without Answers. So, I'm assuming that means... Find the treasure without exposing the lie. Why don't you sit on my throne? Why don't you fuck off? Hans, wait. If you walk out of that door, you won't come back ever again. Hmm. I could stay and try to reveal the truth, or leave and not come back to the castle ever again. Let's fuck off. Whoops. I just realized my audacity it was uh, stretched into the video. But uh, luckily, it wasn't anything you hadn't seen. Whoopsie, unprofessional YouTuber. And we are back. Hey, Mr. Raven. Yep, that's Daddy. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this note, 
And then we're gonna head back to the castle wall. There's a note. Yes, yes, yes. I think I might throw in a quick jump cut. At least until we get back to the castle wall. Unless I discover anything that I, uh, feel needs to be within the video. Alright, welcome back to the castle wall. I am here, large and in charge. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my crowbar. A candle. And boom. Now my good friend Spittle is not coming with me. So, onward. The glorious treasure. Try and place the jewel. I wonder how it's really going to change. I mean, I still get rich. Wow, that's some big treasure. Sure is. And there's the man himself. I'll take those pearls. I'll take those diamonds. I'll take that gold. And I'll take those jewels. Later, dude. And here's Julia. Treasure's over there. Treasure Hunter badge. I'm kind of uh, rolling my eyes over the text just in case anything specific to this ending pops up. Alright, you just do your thing, Julia. Seventeen candles. That's so many candles. Come on, Spittle. Let's bounce. I think I'll go ahead and jump to the house. Where I explain all my swiggity swag to Mama. Let's see. Eight chestnuts, yes, that's good. Five apples. Great. We could use them to bake an apple pie. I'm sure you love the idea, won't you? Six bread. When did I get five fucking apples? I did two before. Yes, the mirror, the crowbar. Seventeen candles. Yeah, that's still the same. That's the same. That's the same. Last but not least. Money! I can't look in our treasure. Mama found it so we can keep it. Okay, that's all the same. Achievement. Ending wealth without answers. That's what it was. With the treasure money, Hunt and his mother became the wealthiest family in the region. Rumors spread and many others entered the woods in search of fortune, but all of them went missing. So, the curse of the castle continues, in other words. Great ending for Hans, bad ending for everyone else. Now, this ending was obtained after the fact, so you're probably going to find it to be really weird that this is just spliced in between two other endings. So I'm going to put the good ending last. So with that, I'll switch things back to the uh, Kenny of the past. So let's go ahead and there's an achievement for another one. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. We're gonna go River of the Dead. Because I wanna see if there's anything I can do 
outside the castle. I'm back. I made it out of the castle. It's everything a dream. Yes, yes, we've read this. Joseph Frey is the name of my dad. Yeah, he's been dead the whole time. Duckies! There's all the goats. Hey, you're a slightly different goat. Oh yeah, there was a chest up there. Well, not like getting it did anything the first time, but still, I want to get it. There it is. Got a candle. There's a note. I'm just give it a legend, blah, blah, blah. Yep, you got strung up good. Oh, I can go back up here during the day. And look who it is. Poor thing. Everybody wants to go back in the castle. It's a broken statue. This place looks like an abandoned garden. A butterfly symbol. It's like the one I caught in the depths of the castle. I should search this area thoroughly. Might get some more clues. Interesting. I got a candle. There's a note. This wall must be part of Tenbury Castle, but how can I get across this insurmountable barrier? Signed by JF. Oh. Hello. There's a butterfly-shaped opening in the door. He used the butterfly. So, yeah, welcome back at this point, everybody. Ooh. Whoa, treasure for days. That's some big treasure. Wait. This isn't one of those traps, is it? I don't know, let's find out. Now you are rich. There's a message engraved. My fortune belongs to those who have come to this place, the Count Lucanor. That means I can keep it. I don't know what these are, but I'm taking some. We got 20 pearls. I'll take some jewels. I don't think the Count will need them. You got 10 jewels. Some shiny little gold coins. You got 200 gold coins. I could use some diamonds. You got 30 gemstones. Jesus. Well, hello! Hey, Julia! You just had to get your last hurrah, didn't you? Don't you eat me, monster! Ah, ah, ah! Hans, what are you doing here? The treasure's over there. I come laden with gold. Do you? Wow, you found it! You're clearly born to do this, Hans. And you? How did you get here? I found an old map of the castle sewers, and a very curious giant rat led me here. Oh, I got something for you, Hans. I was keeping this for me, but it's pretty clear you deserve it more than anyone. You got the Treasure Hunter badge. What's this? You proved to be overqualified for the job. Besides, you found your first treasure. 
This badge is the proof of your ability as a professional treasure hunter. Congratulations, Hans. Wow. Thanks a lot, Julia. But I think you deserve the same badge. I would have never found the treasure without your help. Thanks, Hans, but it isn't necessary. I've decided to focus on researching and writing books. I'll leave action for those less fearful than me. That's what you want, but still, please accept your share of the treasure. Truth be told, this would come in handy to buy some books. I could even open a bookstore. A bookstore? That's boring. Ha ha ha. Well, I've got to get going. I'm really looking forward to seeing my mom again. Sure. Thank you so much for everything, Hans. I do hope we meet again really soon. Me too. From apprentice to master. Freedom. Hello, Spittle. So I didn't get to keep the jeweled butterfly, but you know what? That's certainly okay. I didn't need it. Now onward to Mommy's house to see how things have changed. Hello, old woman. Hello, son. You haven't seen my pig, have you? I was on my way to the market, but he left running all the way up. He really likes the woods. I can't tell why. The pig is close to the castle wall, beyond the big rock up above. Thanks, son. I'll have to thrash him so he'll learn to stay. The problem might be the thrashing lady. Try with corn. Pigs surely love it. Alright, alright. You might have a point. What's over this way? I don't want to go to the village now. I want to go back home and see mom. Very well. Damn credits. Is there like a hidden treasure box around here somewhere? Oh, come on, Spittle. Don't go getting stuck on shit. Mr. Donkey. You're going to stay with us. Hooray. Mama. Ooh. Hans. Let me show you all the cool shit I found. Mom, forgive me. You were right. I'm still too young to leave home. I read all this out last episode, so I'm just gonna... Slowly peruse my way through the text. Look at all this cool shit I found. I brought eight chestnuts. That's a lot. Two apples. I felt today like having some nice fresh apples. Good job, Hans. Six pieces of bread. We can use them to have toast for breakfast for some days in a row. Three pieces of cheese. I brought you a mirror. This crowbar. I got it from a goat herd. It's really useful. Right on. <laughs> Eleven candles. They were everywhere. Net. The magic ring. This is a professional treasure hunter badge, Mom. I got it from a girl I know who really likes or really knows her hunting. Alright, but when did you become a treasure hunter? <laughs> and last but not least. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hans, but. but. What's all this? You haven't stolen this, have you? What? No way. That's Count Lucanor's hidden treasure, Mom. I found it so we can keep it. A count? Just fucking empties his pockets. 
ending a prosperous future. With the money they gathered, Hans and his mother asked a witch to remove the curse from Tenbrae Castle. Then they bought the castle and brought peace and prosperity to the whole region. The end. Well, with all said and done, this is going to round out to, I don't know, roughly a 20 minute video or so. But still. I had to be up anyway, so I figured, fuck it. Might as well just do it. So, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had liked getting a, a little extra taste of this game just to see what else it had up its sleeve. And, uh, so, God, awkward endings are awkward. I'll see you guys in the next solo I do, or the next group videos I do. Fucking. You know what I mean. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.